Hi. Good morning, everybody. Dear students, today I'm here to explain grade fifth social studies. The chapter name is Smoke Signals to Smartphones Communication. Dear, dear, dear students, before going to this chapter, let us see how communication is so important. Yes, just imagine your life without communication in a day. It is not possible because why man is completely different from other animals? Because of a couple of reasons. One is he has a capacity to think, he has a capacity to express. Right? So communication speaks a lot. A good communication is a great bondage of two relationships. Am I right? If the relationships are great, if the relationships are good, yes, there is a good a communication. A good communication can create heaven. A bad communication create yes, hell. Am I right? So, in this session, you will be able to learn about yes, the communication. Okay, dear students, yes, what is meant by yes, communication? This is uh, so important. Okay, why do we study about yes, communication? Let us see, right? Yes, in this module, you will be able to learn, right? Yes, what do you learn from this chapter today? Yes, you will learn about yes, uh, the meaning of communication and also you will be able to learn is evolution of communication, a types of communication, a means of personal communication. We will have discussion about email, electronic mail, telephone, cellular phones, fax, and means of mass communication. This is really an interesting chapter. Dear students, Communication is the process of sending and receiving message through verbal or non-verbal means. We know how to speak, but there are some people who have called us dumb and dumb. How do they speak? They will be speaking through non-verbal, through signs, S-I-G-N-S. Through signs, they will be speaking. So, like speech, writing, signs, signals and behaviors are some of the best examples for the communication okay examples of communications are which are the best example for the communication for example me okay a lecture by a teacher it is not a lecture it's a lesson okay a, a teaching by a teacher right yes an application for grant of leave okay most of the time if you, if you want to leave, you write a letter to your class teacher. That is also a means of yes, a communication, right? A traffic sign for no parking, okay? In front of, in, in front of the gate, you'll be pasting a uh, written form, okay? No parking, okay? By the uh, uh, owner of the house. In, even in the signal also, the, by the traffic police, there will be is uh, fixed up is a parking signals note right so communication is so important right yes so uh, how do we yes know the importance of communication that is called evolution of communication before going to the evolution of communication here is a beautiful animation let's get into it communication Communication is the process of sending and receiving messages through verbal or non-verbal means like speech, writing, signs, signals, and behavior. Examples of communication are lecture by a teacher, an application for grant of leave, a traffic sign for no parking, and a signal by the traffic police to stop. Evolution of communication Today, yes. Communication is now, dear students, yes, we should study if about. We should study about. 
is evolution of communication what is meant by evolution of communication today communication is so easier than it has ever been compared to previous time imagine that if there is no mobile if there is no email fax how our ancestors were communicating do you know the kings were using pigeons as a means of communication the pigeons to the feet of the pigeons yes the letter was tied the letter used to tie okay the pigeon was flying in the sky and it it it, it used it, it, it made reaching the letter to the particular person whom he wanted to reach am i right so compared to previous time today is the communication so easier if you want to contact a person anywhere we can we can do so immediately using a telephone nowadays in a fraction of second we send a message through whatsapp facebook instagram fax email but remember there was a time where there was no quick mode of communication it is hard to imagine that our ancestors relied on yes drum beats or smoke signals for sending a or receiving a message look at the image over there they used to make some drum beats for the mode of communication am i right that was very tough time dear students today also if you have a groves coconut grove mango grove or whatever the groves you have if pigs if some animals might be entering into that grove at the time in the nights your parents will be making lot of sound by beating some drum by listening to that sound the animals will never come over there and it helps to okay yes uh, destruction of what yes crops am i right so let us see some interesting stages of the evolution of communication especially use of drums in africa between 6000 bc before christ smoke signals used the great wall of china in 200 bc first smoke signals was, were used pigeon post was created by sultan nuruddin in egypt this was the first mode of communication the pigeon samuel moore invented telegraph in the year of 1840 he invented the telegraph but remember the telephone was invented by campbell this in the year of 1876 the first mobile phone which was invented in the year of 1946 by tomilson is he, he discovered or he is invented he made in the year of 1971 the first text message reading merry christmas sent to ceo kodapon 1992 right and mark zuckerberg launched the facebook on february 4 2004 the first facebook the twitter was started by started by nyu student jack dorsey in the year of 2006 this was all a new inventions in the mode of communication dear students nowadays in the 21st century just we have been a step very very forward in the science and technology especially the communication google map okay messenger facebook messenger email whatsapp instagram twitter am i right there are plenty of is mass communication sorry uh, communications a mean quick means of communication these have been called as what a quick uh, means of communication right now we should move on to the types of communication which are the most important types of communication the communication is broadly speaking 
the whole communication system can be divided into two parts. The first one is your personal communication and mass communication. Now let us see what is meant by personal communication. Personal communication is the exchange of information. For example, if you text somebody through WhatsApp, that is a personal communication. Instagram is the best example for the personal communication. Are messages between the individuals. If the Instagram has been created between you and me, this is a personal, yes, uh, communication, which depend upon letters, SMS, and telephone calls. These are the best example for a personal communication. If I want to talk to my friend, it's just I'm going to phone him. If I want to send a message to my friend, I, I'm going to WhatsApp, email. This is a conversation between a couple of people, between an individual, right? But the personal communication, but, sorry, mass communication is completely different from the personal communication. What I explained up to now, right? What is meant by mass communication? Mass communication, which is used for an information or a message to a large group of people simultaneously. For example, in the WhatsApp, you might have some groups, WhatsApp group. Once you say, once you type a good morning and if you post it, it will reach to the all 250 people in the group. It depends upon even the strength of the group, right? So this is called as a mass communication. A mass communication we use means like radio, television, newspaper, magazine, books, and films. You know, in the film theater, plenty of people, thousands of people together sitting and watching the movie. You treat just simultaneously the message. Books. It's also a mass communication. Anybody can purchase the books and read. And newspaper. My God, once district wise, taluk wise, division wise, if it reaches, it reaches to the plenty of a number of people at once simultaneously. These are all the best example for the yes mass communication. Here is a beautiful animation regarding types of communication. Broadly speaking, the whole communication system can be divided into two parts: personal communication and mass communication. Personal communication. Personal communication is the exchange of information or messages between individuals. For personal communication, we depend on letters, emails, SMS, and telephone calls. Mass communication. Mass communication is the communication of information or messages to a large group of people simultaneously. For mass communication, we use means like radio, television, newspapers, magazines, books and films. Yes, dear students, these are all the best examples for the yes, mass communication and personal communication. Now, we should study about the a common means of personal communications. Which are the most important common means of personal communication? As we already discussed about mass, uh, personal communication, I would like to pick up a letter. Writing a letter to a class teacher is also one of the skills. The way you approach your teacher to grant a leave is also one of the best skills. It depends upon your impressive writing words. How to impress your teacher by your words? To do that, you must have a bunch of letters. Letters in the form of postal cards, inland letters, envelopes letters. Okay? Yes, these are all the most common means of a postal communication. You imagine once upon a time, when there was a mobile, when there was no mobile, the letter was uh, moving from one place to another place through postman. The post offices were doing this work. The post offices receiving the letters and sending the letters. Am I right? The post offices receive our letters 
and deliver that to the intended is people at a very low cost i think post office is the office where deals with the lower cost of the people it gives the best service to the people at a very lower cost okay so quick mail service speed post service operate okay in many cities okay is the letters have been very very successful in the through the post offices now we shall study about the emails how emails are playing a very important role in sending the message from one place to another place we can also manage we can also send a message by electronic mail if you have a laptop or a system you can mail somebody this is a new mode of is a communication this is also called as a, a personal communication understood a communication sent by email is instant uh, instantaneous what is meant by instantaneous email will have a is a personal means of communication it operates across the internet we can uh, if you want to do some if you want to do mail for somebody you must have internet internet connection in your computer network connection in your computer is it possible to work in mobile is it possible to watch a movie in mobile without network no like that you cannot send a message in 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 laptop or a system without net connection right it is a method of exchanging mess message from an individual to one more recipients more than a one okay this is called is email now very important dear students telephone graham bell was invented telephone and also this is a quick uh, means of uh, uh, message a quick means of communication the telephone is faster than any other means of communication a two ways of telecommunications we can talk on phone with the people in far off cities in right from america to india you can speak even in different countries through std what is meant by std subscriber trunk dialing that is called as std we can talk to the people who have been living in america in other countries of the world but today we have been using mobile in mobile if we use a zero we can contact any state we can call right and isd international subscriber dialing these facilities are we have been connecting new telephone services are better and cheaper than before today iphones smartphones android mobiles we have been using dear students these have been very very advanced rather than the previous one am i right so telephones is also called as a personal communication a quickest mode of communication am i right now cellular phones look at the image of there the cellular phone cellular phones are also called as mobile phones they are fast replacing the regular telephone system today how many of them have a landline today only schools and offices government offices and private institutions might have been having this a telephone okay yes ringing and keep it inside even coin booth also have gone today okay in every city in front of the shops the coins booths were there these have been removed today the mobiles have been replaced them even a small farmer is having a mobile today am i right so the cell phones can be carried anywhere and used with a sense of reliability mobile phones can be carried to the any places that is why this is a quickest mode of communication dear students am i right what not in the mobile phones everything is there okay we cell phones makes us receive 
telephone calls over uh, radio radio links most of the time the bank people will be calling you am i right so it it does so by connecting a cellular network provided by a mobile phone operate operator link this is called as bsnl which is been working under the central government bsnl the cellular phones are also called as a quickest mode of communication now fax fax is the short form of the face mail sometimes called tele telecopy or telex this is also a quickest mode of the communication it is the telephonic transmission of the printed material keep this in your mind this is what this is a telephone it is the telephonic transmission of printed material normally to a telephone number connected to a printer this is called as fax the original document is scanned always in this fax for example your sslc marks card your original marks card or original documents should be scanned over here with a fax machine and transmitted to the receiving fax machine immediately this is a fax fax cellular phones telephones emails letters have been called as a quickest mode of communication here is a beautiful animation let us watch now let's get in means of personal communication the common means of personal communication are as follows letters letters in the form of postcards in land letters envelopes and aerograms are the most common means of personal communication post offices receive our letters and deliver them to the intended people at a very low cost quick mail service and speed post service operate in many cities for speedy and quick delivery of our letters email electronic mail we can also send a message by electronic mail a communication sent by email is instantaneous email operates across the internet or other computer networks it is a method of exchanging messages from an individual to one or more recipients yes telephone telephone is the fastest means of two way telecommunication we can talk on phone with people in far off cities or even in different countries through the std subscriber trunk dialing and isd international subscriber dialing facilities now telephone services are better and cheaper than before cellular phones cellular phones are also called mobile phones they are fast replacing the regular telephone system cell phones can be carried anywhere and used with a sense of reliability a cell phone makes and receives telephone calls over a radio link it does so by connecting to a cellular network provided by a mobile phone operator like bsnl fax fax is a short form of facsimile and is sometimes called telecopying or telex it is the telephonic transmission of printed material normally to a telephone number connected to a printer the original document is scanned with a fax machine and transmitted to the receiving fax machine immediately okay dear students you have watched some beautiful animation over here now let's get into the yes means of mass communication which are the best example for the yes mass communication and what is the difference between the yes personal communication and mass communication mass communication can be reached the plenty of people simultaneously means there have been printed versions am i right yes means of communication may belong to either print media or electronic media now a print media dear students a print media includes newspaper then which are the most example the best example for the print medias can you can you tell me when you are waking 
waking up from the bed what do you do your parents okay they will they will have a cup of tea and they will have a cup of tea with the newspaper am i right am i right children newspaper are the best example for the yes printed media not only newspaper dear students magazines books okay this as you know that yes johns bitten birds invitation of mobile yes metallic type paved the way for developing of print media he is the founding father of the print media johns bitten birds am i right now let us study about the newspaper newspaper as you already learned okay can you name some newspapers here yes the deccan herald okay times of india okay yes uh, uh, hindu the hindu deccan herald right times of india are some of the best example for the english newspaper yes kannada yes kannada prabha <coughs> excuse me prajavani kannada prabha prajavani right yes uh, vijayavani e sanjay these have been the best example for the kannada newspaper to know children mangal bengal gazette was the first newspaper of india manglu samachar was the first newspaper of karnataka which is not in the textbook am i right so newspapers play a very important role especially newspaper are printed and published for providing information what is the purpose of printing newspaper the purpose of printing newspaper to give information to the multiple people of public interest like advertisements what might be in the newspaper advertisements will be there our daily happenings will be there okay government's functions will be there government policies will be there about modern scales government policies education health sanitization budgets everything will be there in the newspaper that's why newspaper has something for everybody because it gives news of internet from every corner of this country am i right we come to know about each and every corner of this country about the information that is because of newspaper newspaper are published english and regional languages we are kannada is our mother tongue am i right usually the newspapers are got printed through the its regional languages through the what regional languages am i right children so this is all about the yes newspaper next magazine magazines are called as a periodic containing a variety of articles magazines are having a, a periodic containing of articles it might be about the uh, some of the iconic people in the country okay pratap ji reddy the founding father of the apollo hospitals ajit prem ji and uh, infosys narayan murthy right about their life history it might be in the magazines they are typically published weekly weekly magazines are there bi weekly magazines are there monthly magazines are there bi monthly magazines are there. magazines are there quarterly magazines are there magazines are there right yes they give the readers information on the topics like business they give information about the business as i already told you ajit prem ji pratap ji reddy apollo hospitals right and infosys narayan murthy yes and also sports cricket badminton shuttle and also about health and fitness and films and music we trust all kind of information through the magazines it's a periodical printing version am i right next one books okay actually for one anyone books are the real friends dr ambedkar said that books are real friends of mine books became part of mass media after printing press was invented after printing press was come into existence the books were started printing the topics were varied and their value could be judged from the fact and most libraries in the world exist due to due to this books only 
you have books or textbooks the textbooks will be given the accurate fact about the information accurate fact about the topic am i right so the books are so important in anybody's life this is called as a mass communication there is a beautiful animation about the yes a textbook and the mass mass communication let's get it means of mass communication means of mass communication may belong to either print media or electronic media print media print media include newspapers magazines and books Johannes Gutenberg's invention of movable metallic type paper the way for development of print media newspapers newspapers are printed and published for providing information of public interest advertisements and views a newspaper has something for everybody because it gives news of interest from every corner and on every subject in india newspapers are published in english and regional languages magazines magazines are periodicals containing a variety of articles they are typically published weekly bi-weekly monthly bi-monthly or quarterly they give the readers information on topics like business sports health and fitness films and music books books became part of mass media after the printing press was invented the topics are varied and their value could be judged from the fact that most libraries in the world exist due to books only yes you was no up to now we studied about the mass is communication in the next class we will be learning about the electronic medias like radio films televisions i shall come up with the some more most important yes facts right thank you so much for being with me have a nice day see you in the next class take care bye